Time to go into Towers of Doom, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and see what we get here for our game number three. Now, if you are wondering where you are and what's going on, this is the Heroes Heart Celebrity Clash League in-house matches. These are going to be do done every Monday. It's a best of five series between some players from the North American Heroes community. And they're all vying for a little bit of pizza money, some fun on this Monday night, and it also just gets you some nice Heroes of Storm action. Like, work a Monday after a nice weekend, and you're like, man, I just, I just, I want to unwind. You got the CCL oh, yeah. in-house matches. That's what you got every Monday. Five. It's, it's, uh, I think we're starting at six PDT, eight CDT yeah. now. Yeah. So there you go. Come by, follow here, sub, do whatever, <laughs> support, support the league. I, just, just hang out. <laughs> come hang out. Come watch some heroes. Talk about it. We give us your ideas. <laughs> we, we like, I think the, the, a lot of the excitement of this is that, you know, I personally really like playing or like watching good heroes, right? Mm -hmm. um, same not storm league um not you know people memeing uh i, I like I mean, watching people like try to beat each other you know and i think that like in its purest form heroes is like incredibly fun when you see it played at that level um so mm -hmm. to like be able to like hang out cast watch these games with you guys is is like a really fun time for me every monday so i just want to it's what i look yeah, yeah it's what i look forward to <laughs> it's like it's like all right sunday sunday variety day i did you know i i lost uh 1600 points in storm league we're good i'll just cast tomorrow mm -hmm. that is that is actually what my yesterday was i went i went one in five <laughs> in my storm league game my first game i lost 580 points the one game i won i got uh 280 no Ooh, yeah i got 280 you're i got 280 a negative my negative my average my average loss was 300 plus Ugh. every single game yeah yikes but hey you know what <laughs> i did honestly god i just want to play with friends so i don't really care about my invisible points but either way Anna on the right junk rat on the junk left rat. and we do have black hole oh also to note uh black hole is up one in oh, our, yeah. in our series right. here it is gonna be one cool. one so everyone at home does know that we are in game number three on towers of doom but that will be the quote-unquote best hero in the game, there the auto is. win, auto coming out wins. from Black Hole. As long as they I don't just this. punt the draft and take Matthew fourth pick, they probably should be able to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'll just let it. All out right, <laughs> just yeah, just bluntly out there, just like, well, you know what? If you don't want to, yeah. Either way, Garrosh is gonna be grabbed here. I like this though, because like you know, Greymane wants to dive in, and you know, if it's like, cool, you're gonna dive into me, I'm gonna throw you closer to my towers or closer, you know, away from your friendly team. Rainer's got penetrating round. Anna's got sleep dart. So far, a lot of control coming out from Archon, but they do have some burst potential down the road. They don't plan to take a Jaina or a Kalefoss. I'd recommend banning that out. Maybe even a Li Ming. Actually, Li Ming wouldn't be. Oh no, Li Ming would be great for either side. Wait, Li Ming's banned, Baha. I'm potato. Yes, they are. So there we go. <laughs> I was looking carbon. on the left side. I was just like, I was like, yeah, this is perfect. No, yeah, no, of course they're it's playing be against out now. carbon. It's uh, I'm it's a little, I'm a little slow this afternoon, nah, but you're good. It will be an easy ban out with the Abathur. Yeah, well, ban? No. Huh? What's what? Is that the same row Abba you think that they're banning out there? I think this is just a really good map for Abathur yeah. in general. It's but, easy. It's would their comp be good for it though? Like, would their comp be good to Abba? Maybe it would. With uh, Rainer, you could Rainer could get benefit from it, and then something like a Leoric wouldn't be bad with an Abathur hat. Like it's just it's just yeah, more it's just more sustained chase. Like it's sustained damage within his chase. But I sorry I glance like I leaned to the left for a second, and I saw Rhaegar's icon as as uh, as Gazlo, and I got real excited, <laughs> then like slightly disappointed. But this could still be bloodlust for the members this of uh, Black Hole. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no, this looks <laughs> probably like a bloodlust draft uh mal Gannis into garage i don't know that paper that matchup on paper but it feels like it would be bad for mal Gannis. maybe not I, I don't know if you if he's night rushing can you throw them or would it just sleep you it depends on the range there is the same row and it, i it's something i'm excited for that kerrigan mm. that's actually so the reason i was saying heads up uh, ban in, in gamer one because i believe valimar plays a ton of samuro okay well you're about to see i want to i want to see this like, is not. This gonna, is I'm like gonna... even for Liam. Like even for any any good solo laner. Like playing against Samro is like just depression. Whoa, dodge. He has to buy Deathwing. I'm. Oh, okay. Now I see it. Okay. <laughs> I'm. I'm Deathwing last pick. Having to buy it. Lol. All right. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I see the draft chat. It's just how is this allowed? Okay. All right. 
we're gonna we're gonna get back into this in just a second. Uh, so we have to we have the, they just have to reload the game by Deathwing, and um, that's gonna be their game plan. So that was the last hero coming out from this one. Uh, thoughts on the draft in general? Because like Samuro, I think has so much value. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just I just I just looked over at their at their uh, match <laughs> history. They've played one, two, three, four, five, so they let... five, uh, five Samuro games right before this, and ah. there's a lot more in their yeah. Ah, so we may um, indeed have a bit of a Samuro player. It's not he's like the playing, teams watch the stream. He's been or anything playing like a that. lot. He's been playing a lot, but he's been playing in quick match. He's, so he's, he's yeah, probably I, I'm, he's probably trying to polish it. Maybe maybe not. Sixty nine percent win rating 62. quick match. Just saying, but he's got forty percent win rate total. Wait, this man. Has yeah, it's, a, it's if you if you separate it just by storm league, it's thirty nine. This man has a level one eighty nine chin. Didn't they win with chin game one? They did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yeah, because that was the wandering keg game. Huh. I, I'm excited about this. All right, let's see. <laughs> uh, oh, I just need to change the lobby. My my bad. I forgot I was driving let's the bus this evening. Match. All right. Yep. Yeah. All right, they should be all set. The junk rat. Wait, that thing spins? Hold on, chat. You got to see this. When he locks in his little thing on his back spins. Do you see that, Bob? The rip the rip tire? Yeah. yeah. It's like a it's like a little uh, uh roulette thing from the casinos. Where's the ball at? Wait, there is there a ball in there? Uh I don't know. Someone dodged. Ball oh, remake. we still have lobby. All right. Wait, okay. why? No, it's he, oh, okay. okay. This this has been something in Heroes of the Storm for probably the past eighteen years. Like, <laughs> if you make a the lobby, the game's not for five. But <laughs> if you make a lobby and then you try to cheat the system by buying a character, it will not allow you to lock the characters. You have to remake a fresh lobby, so that the not game big. knows the same. Like with Quick Match, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It does need to kind of yeah. You do yep. Yeah. It, like kind of has to f make a new phase a new state um so hopefully it'll work now but you could probably once you get them all into the game you just jump in and they should all have their characters hovered yeah it should be all set we just got to get everyone in here for the next game and i gotta swap everyone to the correct side um <laughs> that's one of our yep yeah that's are correct. we good yep cool i'll push the button ready you Ah, we just All right, everyone. Random Rhaegar pose. <laughs> you don't get the spinnies, Baja. Wait, Junkrat's not rated up. Is it going to do it once they do? Junkrat, ready up so we can see the spins. That's all That's all we're here for. <laughs> that's it. The art team just we're, making, going that's, out that's... of their way to make the quick match. Whoa. Look at that. What the? That is You've a never seen serious that before? pose. That's where, that's where all the HEC... I mean, never mind. Well, uh... <laughs> F. That's um, <laughs> to fuck. <laughs> Thanks everyone for hanging out during the Here's the Earth Celebrity Clash League in House Games. We got sick. Uh, no. We got sick poses. Quick match poses, yeah. mind you. But no, yeah, we're going into game three. Uh, get, yeah. So Towers of Doom. We do. So if anyone's wondering what the the all in all what happened with draft. The last thing, there was a dodge because uh, one player didn't own the character they wanted to draft. So, yes, ex exactly. This, what just popped up on stream is exactly right. But what else is going to pop on stream is the game. And we're here on the left-hand side. We got Black Hole. We got Centurion on the Junkrat. We are going to be having Frosty Wind on the Rhaegar. Carbon will be on that Greymane. Tremor is going to be on the Malganus. And Vesper will be on Deathwing. And on Team Archon's side, we're going to have Weary Day on the Ana Valimar gonna be playing that samuro juggy on the garage tiger is gonna be on kerrigan and unverted on the rain the rainer the rain man himself what are we getting oh exterminator level one again i've been seeing so many rainers just go exterminator like just ace in the care. hole yeah it's you do so much damage already right yeah like it's just it's, it's like do i need the slow mm, i can just win i can win races on you know, I, I can burn down camps faster. I can actually clear waves faster, too. So it's just that's another option as well. But either way, uh, this is going to be a toss on to Carbon. 
Ultimate trying to find their way into the back lane. Tiger Jake is going to dive out. They're going to get a great combo off from Kerrigan. That's going to be first blood in favor for the members of Archon. Kerrigan tries to dive onto a minion. Does end up going down. We have Valmar very far out here. It looks like that is going to be the real one of them. It's not going to be a clone. They actually find a kill onto Malganus, and that's going to be a bit of a bloodbath at the start here. Three kills overall, but the members of Archon coming out on top with two kills. Yeah, good carry and call there from Tiger to pick up that first kill on the gray man as he tries to, you know, dodge away in Morgan form. Um, and Valmar just did a great job there of just punching Malganus the entire time. I don't think he was, like, ready for the fact that the Samurai just hacked him up for the entirety of that, that skirmish and was able to pick up a double kill there for the well, it's side wave of Wave the blade at level one. Wave the blade at level one. Oh, I mean, if you're is. reducing armor to negative 15, like... That's that's big. Like armor reduction, that's in this game is just a wild, wild, strong thing, and and we are going to be seeing that from that way of the blade at level one. It's it's gonna it's, so it's um it stacks up to three times for two point five seconds total, but it, you have to get the crit from them or their clones. Yeah, that's 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 the big burst. Typically, is when you you throw those clones around them, and all the clones then just crit at the same time. And it's just negative fifteen armor go, but. Bottom lane is going to be pretty much the standard here, McIntyre. Both of the camps we grab. Sleep Dark comes out from Weary Day. We have uh, Jachuggy looking to also get that Warbreaker uh, worked through. Already actually a third of the way through that at 5 out of the 15 stacks in that. So they do have that that first portion of the reward done. But they're looking for that 15 foot reduction as they actually toss away the Malganus. And they're going to disengage right now. First objective phase will be about a minute away. I guess Unaverted like, being the only ranged wave player that they have. I guess that's another good argument for the Exterminator at level 1. We see it there in the bottom lane, just kind of, oh, Tiger's going to be taken out. Skirmish breaking out as well, Chajuggy taking a lot of damage, but might be able to pick up Centurion. Very close trimmer. Is he going to have his Q up? He does. A nice penetrating round, a good sleep, nice. but sleep dark. wake up, Rhaegar, you're dead. Bye-bye. And a double kill yeah. picked up. I guess they did trade Kerrigan for that, right? But two for one. Yeah. Uh, Junkrat's in bottom lane. Kerrigan's already back up. Greymane's gonna be back. Excuse me, not Greymane. <laughs> uh, Rhaegar, the other wolf boy, is gonna be back in just a second. Malganus just got back up. They could look for a triple cap on these, but they're gonna have to play real aggressive, especially because Deathwing is on that top lane. I'm just peeking around the minimap and as well as what we have for the setup right now. Centurion was trying to poke, but you can see Jachuggy just zoning right now. Um, just trying to just harass them to the point where Weary Day does get the channel, but the Concussion Mine will come through. Looks like Samaro grabs the right-hand side. They're going to actually go to the left. You can see them on the minimap right now that they are going to the left-hand side. Deathwing will probably harass them a little bit. I'm going to jump up there immediately because I'm waiting to see if De where Deathwing, where'd you go, bud? Uh, no? That's triple. That's triple. They're, they're, Archon's going for the perfect game. Did Liam, Liam just bought the character. Did he forget how to play it? I... They might have been low on health, and I wasn't looking at their health bar, so they might have had to take flight for that. Rainer, oh. not able to get the last little bit of damage. 72 health on Centurion right there. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, Samur just does, like, pound uh, Deathwing, kind of, right? Like, especially with that level 1 talent. Um, He's kind of taking, like, all talents to so just whack at him. Burning Blade well, I mean, look, look, look at level four. Look, I mean, deflection. Yeah. Advancing strikes grants his Samuro and his clones 35 physical armor. Yeah, and I think he, cool. he doesn't even, <laughs> with that talent, he really doesn't even have to clone. And, and I uh, I think I saw there, he was actually using his Q at the same time that Deathwing was casting his W to just dodge that yeah. sustain, right? And then mm -hmm. now he's on him, working him with all three of his clones. But Trimmer looks to engage here on Tiger. A nice sleep coming on the back line. So Juggy might be able to... Oh, my. The oh, double the combo. Ravage, the Impale, the, oh. the, the, the Primal Grasp from Tiger JK. They get the full Impaling Blades combo... Or, uh, full... Oh, my God. Primal Grasp into the Impaling Blades with the Ravage chase into that. That was just really well played from the members of Archon. Black Holes just, uh... They're trying to poke at this here and there, but this will be a double altar. With two dead, oh wait, no, they're looking to stagger out. I was about to say, with two just about to come back, they can look to defend this, but now they might go for a double cap here on the side of Archon. Yeah, it was a really, really good combo there from Tiger. Um, just kind of, who is that? Uh, Centurion, yeah, just caught Centurion kind of sleeping. Uh, Q into the minions and looking for a combo. I I, I mean, this might be the 40-0 dream. Right, this is... Oh, they're going for... This they're is going to be a 10, right? Doing? Maybe, maybe level 10, we can get that. Oh my gosh, they're just going to get both channels. Uh, that's it. 
I mean, not the game, but that's that's a whole lot of damage <laughs> reading in. 20 health currently <laughs> on the side of Black Hole. I would assume that the only way to stop this from being a 40-0 with the pace of the game right now is for like a top left spawn. Like a top yeah. left, top right spawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top left is, would be fairly hard, I think, but with the Junkrat existing. But if Tiger keeps looking and finding these picks here with his combos, then yeah, I don't see what's stopping them, right? Tiger has just been getting the primal grasp into the impaling blades just perfectly every single time. It is going to be top left and right for the next one. That's going to be the groundbreaker, warbreaker, finished out by Jachuggy as they're trying to back off right now. I don't know if they have indomitable off cooldown. They actually do. They can pop that. They're going to turn around back into them. Maelstrom's going to be coming out from the Kerrigan. That's going to be cleansed out from one. That will be Greyman going down first as there was a. There's actually the nano boost onto the Maelstrom. They find a kill onto Malgans with the primal grasp and the impaling blades. They'll jump for the forward on the Vesper as their armor is being reduced. They're getting chased out right now and they don't get the kill. 190 health left on that Deathwing. Greptar comes out as well. We do have our uh, Valimar splitting away. I'm going to be going back towards top lane. They're looking to grab this bottom lane bell tower, convert this over, and if they get the two bell towers that are going to be spawning in the next 29 seconds, that's 10 damage into the core of Black Hole. But Archon, they got to make that play happen. It's just Chucky stepping further forward, not able to get a kill. I feel like the funniest part about this too, and, and I know from like a player's point of view, is when you get to this, like when you, when you know the other team's gonna potentially 40-0 you, you really start to like fall apart and panic. Um, it, it becomes like a, okay, how do we not get 40-0'd, right? Rather than like a, how do we win? You just like lose sight of that completely. Uh, but they might just get a free channel here. Nope. Marvin actually caught out. Nice bullet. Three man Tondo coming off the Juggy. Deathwing is gonna fall down here, but the Bloodlust has popped five people unaverted. A little bit in trouble, but he is gonna be able to scoot out of there. Doing his best. A nice Cataclysm as well coming in for the rest of the team. But Valmar probably gets this all here from the back if he needs to. Just able to clone out of there and reset. Centurion taking a ton of damage from the Raider as well as Vespertine doing a great job to zone out three, maybe even get a triple kill himself. Oh my. This is Deathwing pick overpowered. Able to pick up two for one. Un unaverted though. Just getting free damage in with the Rainer, as well as Volumar oh, on the yeah. back, just, just hacking away. Rayman Curse Bullet, unaverted, taking a lot of damage, penetrating round goes the wrong direction. I want to point out, you were seeing, uh, in the bottom lane, there were three sappers coming through. Kerrigan with the huge Primal Grasp, but she ends up going down right there. They're not able to get the stall out any further. Left side is still up and available. They find a Greymane Burst right there. Riptar comes out. That will be a kill onto them. Balmar needs to back out as they do get the windwalk away, and I think they themselves will take six shots in total. The perfect game dream is over, but I want to point out, three sappers did go through bottom lane. That's why it's going to be 17 to what 36 nope 37. 34 because caster yeah. math well i will say valmar just punched his ticket to not getting invited to next week's uh, in-house in league uh not suiciding <laughs> himself there to <laughs> keep the 40 dream the 40 I mean, uh you gotta keep dream your, alive you gotta pad the stats you gotta keep you gotta pad the stats zero deaths so far 40 yeah, if you want to hit control too so the, the 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 friends at home can see how much siege has already been coming out like it's wild like you can see heroic damage siege as well as wow. uh healing done like yeah that's <laughs> like definitely still done fifty seven thousand. but like forty six thousand. From... yeah like like liam is still doing a wonderful job i don't want to i don't want to pull away from that but it's just samuro still pushing in and getting a lot of value warlord's jump comes out definitely stepping on in here primal grass there's gonna be a fight breaking out it is even talent tears but we do have samuro split from the friendly team toss goes out of the tremor they die further in they're very very low they're trying to get themselves out of here and they manage to do so the kerrigan dives in once again mana boost is on them looking for a combo they don't manage to grab it another ravage towards carbon who gets hit with the uh, penetrating ground rip tire and everything's used on garish they end up going down it was a bit of a hyphy engage there uh i think they they like felt like they had the advantage tiger had just gotten nano the other team was like backing up but in reality they were actually forcing a 4v5 and they were punished for it they just need to let i mean samuro is working the map like if you look at the, just the experience bars He's obviously doing a good job of working the map and, and soaking up experience for his team. I will say the Samuro, in my opinion, power spikes like very heavily at level 16. Oh, absolutely. Um, his 13 is definitely good, Sh Sh Shikuchi, uh, which a lot, or no, oh wow, he's not taking Shikuchi. So he's taking the one where when he wind walks, he creates a mirror image. 
So this mm. is different. So normally, the other one typically gives him a little distance, yeah. Yeah, and you would do you basically like play him like a zero tool where you like yeah. double blink and then you have a crit built up and then you auto crit for like two thousand damage. But he's gone a different path here. Um, maybe using that to give definitely more sustain when he pushes the W, I'm not really sure. But Carbon takes a ton of damage. Gonna be taken out there by Falmar. And the Bloodlust is hit a little late, but maybe potentially picking up a kill here on Tiger. That Chrysalis was so good from the Kerrigan. Bellowing Roar comes out from the Deathwing. That's going to be ripped tired from Junkrat. Interrupted by the Rainer with a Penetrating Rat. Kerrigan dives in with the Nana Boost as well, trying to chase, chase on the Frosty Wind. Vesper is getting very low right now. Concussion Mine actually sends Tiger towards Frosty Wind. We actually have the Junkrat split from the friendly team. It's a bit, bit of a two-fight breakout right now as Junkrat does go down below us. There was a Nana Boost on to Tiger JK. And I think with that, this will be Bell Tower over to the side of uh, uh, <laughs> Archon, but we have Skyfall <laughs> from Deathwing. Uh, uh, and here's the thing with Towers of Doom. Oh, I like the way that they're playing this. They still get the channel right there. Um, but with Towers of Doom, because we were talking about this, like Dragonshire. Like Dragonshire, you can't see someone capping the dragon. It's not a universal like vision. Whereas on Towers of Doom, it's, it's universal vision, like um, Curse Hollow as well. Like if someone goes for the channel, you know what hero is there, regardless of having anyone around you. So Deathwing can use that Skyfall on this map and be quite the nuisance. And doesn't look like they get they got the Eternal Stall as we've seen some Deathwings get, but this will be bottom lane control coming in from the members of Archon as they want to be able to feed Sappers in through here. The Sapper camps are going to be on 30 seconds to 50 seconds on a cooldown. So the whole this, but a triple altar phase is coming up and. McIntyre, if they get all three of these with the, I mean, even if even if they lose bottom lane bell tower, get all three of these and then maybe boss, they they have the opportunity to win. So it is, it's getting close here on the side of Archon for a W and to go up in our best of five series. Yeah, just having that bottom keep pressure, right? There's so much. It's it's, it's like one of the most taxing things in Towers of Doom. Uh, yes, it, it there is a way to beat it, but you can get it you can lock a game right and i don't want to say that this game is locked but they, they have a very good grasp on it right um at this point it, it's it, it's kind of up to black hole like how do we break it and this is how we do it juggy with a great taunt bloodlust is going to come out and cataclysm as well is going to connect on a lot tiger doing his best to take out frosty in the back he is able to kill him and that nano boost and if another combo comes out tiger's going insane ice blocks the sleep to pick up a triple kill, well, that goes to show you just how much of a lock they have actually on the game bomb. Um, Bloodlust is very aggressive aggro engage and just immediately brick wall by a Nana Boost and carry in a great play by Tiger there. Vesper's health existed, then it didn't. But this is triple ultra phase up. Five shots can go over. Kerrigan does not finish up the camp. She actually goes for the channel right there. Uh, Unaverted getting the channel on the left. We have Gra Garrosh grabbing on the right. So this is going to be, that's it. That's, that is, that is, this is what we were talking about. Well, Tumor's gonna try, or Tremor's gonna make something happen here, but that's too much armor reduction. Getting thrown around, they go down and that's when I don't know if you can stall this one out because I don't think they can take flight in time because Tiger's making sure they don't take flight as they're going to get one molten breath. Doesn't even actually get the uh, interrupt as Valimar, no one can. Valimar, stop go. channeling. No, Valimar. Look, Junkrat's here. He's diving who mid. Oh, no. The Junkrat can poke forever. I mean, they do have the... Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, did that actually go a little... That went... That, that went the wrong way for them, huh? Yeah. Uh, they were going to end. Sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you try and end. Well, here we go, though. This is like, this is a big deal on this map, right? This camp right here. One sapper can be fed through bottom lane. They're going to go for get two. Get the fort back. Get the, maybe get their bottom keep. Do the ball. This I is mean, all they're, they're on out, their they're out boss. Yeah. Their to-do list. Black Hole's to-do list. They have to check off all the things that make them lose. When yep. all the things are checked off, then they can't lose. So right now that's do the boss. That takes that off the map. They now need to clear these sappers. I'd probably try to retake my keep here. Maybe not get picked middle. Um, fun fact, you can use the end of the fray on the sappers to throw them over the wall. I know we talked about this beforehand, but I was I was expecting them to try and feed these sappers in, then they just didn't, which is confusing to me, so Honest to God, I don't, I, I, I don't know what Archon's going for. Like, they, it seemed like they had the, the game in the bag, and it's just, it's starting to just unravel on them. Yeah, and I'm not sure if we'll see a 2020 fight. It might be a 2019. 
This is the pace of this game. The shrine's obviously going to be spawning pretty soon here. Mm. Yeah, so it might be a 19, 19, 19 actually. If they can play really aggressive here, they actually kind of lucked out here on the single shrine. Um, just allowing Black Hole to play hyper aggressive here with her picks. I mean, Valimar already chunked a half. He does have his wall up as well, though, so he can just tap that. Uh, yep. Keeping them off of level 20, though, before this fight would be. I mean, Ideal. potentially game winning. Yeah, uh, I know that it's 3 three to 27, but a great Cataclysm here is going to start the fight off unaverted, taking a lot of damage. Weary Day. Oh, into the fray, thrown away, and Valmar working his way on that middle shrine. Out here, Dr. Seuss in a bit. The Riptire is going to go out onto the Kerrigan Tiger JK. No more Chrysalis, but the Nano Boost comes out. Does he look to turn? He does a blink combo. Good God. I think Tiger's Q button might be jammed in his keyboard. He just pressed it about eight times there. Picks up a triple. That's going to be the game. Wow. That was almost really good, though. Like, they actually almost found the pick on Tiger. But it turns out that Nano Boost at 20 is a very good ability. What? No. Absolutely and crazy. Full heals a character when they land skills and abilities. Like a Kerrigan, potentially. Pressing Q eight times. I I gotta say it was a good it was a good game. Mm -hmm. But that Samuro, like that Samuro was was a nuisance. Like armor reduction. Seventeen thousand yeah. seven hundred and sixty eight. Yeah, I checked at it at one point. Like Deathwing had like nine k, and they had just about eleven. So they were like, it was roughly like two thousand experience. Okay, so he always, coming. always had a little bit of an advantage there. It like it, it. I'd say like before level ten, probably it was pretty neck and neck. Post ten, it was just it. It's such a split. Yeah. Absolutely, such a split in experience. Um, but it was a good game. Number three, Archon goes up. They could look to uh, potentially close out the evening. Yeah. Nice, nice little Towers of Doom game here, and a good flex on both. I would say Kerrigan and Samuro, which you don't actually see all the time, right? Um, to see both of those no, characters no, locked in, do well, um, is, is it was fun to fun to watch. And uh, when is the next CCL? Hopefully soon. Uh, cheese cutting league. Uh, I believe Sunday. I think is when the cheese cutting league meets. Yeah, there you go. That's what CCL is for. 